Cheer up, Nasha. Does it hurt, old buddy? I'll take your mind off the toothache with a story. In the magical kingdom, far, far away. Oh, don't like soppy fairy tales, eh? No problem. I know a much better story. A lot more exciting than any of them. <laughs> right then, here goes. A billion years ago, before cornflakes were invented, a poor young lad named Dennis, who, by the way, had a dog named Nasha, was sent off to market by his mum. Oh, Dennis! We're so poor, we've got to sell Rasha, our beloved family pig! Sell Rasha? But he's been with us for years. I know, but we need the money to buy some bacon. Oh, it's either Rasha or the telly. Uh, fair enough, I'll be off then. So, Dennis set off, his heart heavy at the thought of the fate that awaited his pet pig. <laughs> He hadn't got far before he came across an old knight who was in a terrible state. I am in a terrible state. Oh, what's up, Colonel Knight? Fever is up, that's what. I've just made some tarts and some rotters made off with them. Blasted knave of hearts again, I expect. But I thought you had a guard dog. I did. Founder stole him too. Mm. Well, Colonel Knight, you're in luck. You see before you the best guard pig in the business. And he's for sale. Really? What do you want for him? How about half a pound of bacon? Sorry, young fella. I've got no bacon. But how about a tin of beans? Ah, <coughs> oh, you drive a hard bargain, but seeing as it's you, it's a deal. So, Dennis made his way home thinking his family would be delighted that he'd brought back something to eat. <laughs> no such luck. You sold Russia, our pedigree pig, for a tin of beans? But they're good beans, they are. We'll get about 23 each, I should think. We won't get any beans at all. Do you know why? Uh, no. Because can openers won't be invented for another billion years! That's why. And so saying, Dennis's father threw the can of beans out of the window into the garden. <laughs> anyway, that night, after everyone had gone to bed, something really weird happened. The can of beans took root. morning, Dennis was woken up early. Oi! Stop it, Nasha! Leave me alone! <coughs> but it wasn't his faithful dog who was tickling his feet. <coughs> it was a branch of the most ginormous beanstalk the world had ever seen. Wow! That can of beans must have been magic! <coughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's see what's at the top! <coughs> and so saying, Dennis and Nasha started to climb the beanstalk. Meanwhile... Time to get up, Mum. What the... I thought you set up, dear. Oh, my goodness! It's Dennis and Nasha! All right, you two! Come down off that beanstalk this minute! Oh, near you, Dad! But don't worry, we'll be back for supper! Well, you'd better be! And if you end up in some magic kingdom, see if you can find a can opener, will you? Dennis and Nasha climbed and climbed miles up into the sky until, at last, they found themselves in a strange land amidst the clouds. Well, here we are! <laughs> <clears throat> About time we saw a dragon that needs slaying, or some maiden that wants rescuing. Cooey! Hello! I 
did say fair maiden, didn't I? <laughs> oh well. Over here! Hello! Yes, what is it? I am the fair Princess Matilda, and I have been condemned to languish in this tower forever and a day. Please rescue me, oh noble knight! Rescue? You? I'll smother you with kisses! Phew! Oh, thank goodness! He's locked! Come on, Nasha! That was a close one! Oh, a crossroads! And no one to ask the way! But, at that moment, a cow man happened by. Excuse me, can you help us? Hey, man! If anyone can, the can man can! So run it by me. What's the problem, little dude? Well, we're new here, you see. Say what? You mean you just come off the stock, and you want to know where the action's at, right? All righty, just take five, and I'll give you the vibe. Make a little left here, and you're going to hit Witchville, where the witches chill. <laughs> now make sure those Funker brothers don't catch you and eat you. Okay. Uh, how about right? Right. You're going to buck up alongside the Enchanted Forest, where the three bears hang out. And wolves, dressed up like your grandma, and of course, they'll want to eat you too. Right ahead? Yo, straight ahead, you got the baddest game in town. You just check out the Orange Bean Road, and it'll lead you straight to the happening castle of the dreaded giant Walter. And what happens there? What happens there? Well, you gotta try and get hold of the magic lamp. He wears it around his neck. Now you get that, and you get yourself three wishes. <laughs> Sounds great! What's the catch? Catch? Well, if he catches you... Don't tell me. He eats ya! Hey, man, you're on my wavelength. Anyway, I gotta go. Heavy day to the recycling plant. Have yourself a nice day now, little dude. Magic lamp? Three wishes? Let's go for it! Dreddy giant Walter, here we come! So, Dennis and Nasha arrived at the gates of Giant Walter's castle. Hey, don't worry, boy. I mean, how big can a giant be? <laughs> Pretty big, I guess. Hippity hop and flippity flap. I'm going to have an after lunch nap. <laughs> Something tells me the giant Walter might be asleep. Okay, we'll take the difficult north face route. <laughs> and so, Dennis and Nasha climbed up the castle's big front door all the way to the letterbox. Going down! <laughs> Come on, Nasha, it's easy! Oh, no! Eye of Toad, Tongue of Snake! What was that row that did me wake? Quick, over there! Sleep again. Come on. But giant Walter had a giant dog called Fufu. She had a giant flea. Uh, seven o'clock. Time for din din. <laughs> no! 
Hey. And the giant flea landed on Nasha. You... Praise him! Praise him! As the ancients foretold, a huge creature has come from space to rule over us. Welcome to planet Nasha, oh, jumbo-sized one. <laughs> Nasha, this is no time for sitting around scratching. in my shoe. Yeah, all right. I know I'm not Cinderella, but I've got to take my shoe off. After Dennis and Nasha, and it looked like he was going to catch them. <laughs> Quick, Nasha, into the cupboard! <laughs> Sergeant of the Lamp. What is your wish, O oh Master? I wish you'd make that giant and his dog disappear. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. That is illegal. I can't make people disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, then trip him up. Well, that's dangerous. Good cause agree his knee. Well, freeze him then. Sorry, sir. We've got to think of the ozone layer. Oh, never mind. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> what? And get smothered in kisses? I'd rather be stabbed. 
Anton! <coughs> On second thought... <coughs> now surely the genie can handle a locked door. Hello, hello, hello. Never mind all that. Unlock the door. Just a minute, sir. Are you the owner of these premises? Oh, forget it. <laughs> you come back to rescue me. I knew you would. Yes. I um couldn't stay away. I think my life depends on it. <sighs> Where else to hide, Nesha? Huh? Ouch! Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they've gone. It's kissy kissy time! Mm. Oh, no! Is that why you were locked up? For all this kissing mush? Well, would you believe it? I was imprisoned for being too much of a goody-goody. Oh? Who by? The Wicked Witch of the North Pole. <laughs> the witch from Witchville! The North Pole's wickedest witch! The hardest working crone in Guinness! Granny! It. That's my gran you're talking about. <laughs> With a full do roll and a full do roy, Foo-Foo's found that horrible boy. That giant Walter, who does he think he is? <laughs> I'll soon cut him down to size. <laughs> I seem to have shrunk. <laughs> You're in for it now. Oh dear. Stop! Please don't hurt him. Oh, give me one good reason why not. Because I feel fate has somehow brought us together. I want to smother him with kisses. Well, okay. Since you put it like that, oh, let's me off the hook anyway. Hey, hold it, Princess! You're supposed to be locked up forever and a day. But Granny, hanging around with Walter is worse than any tower. Oh, 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 oh. I never thought of it like that. You are banished to be Walter's friend forever. I see. Do you like stamp collecting? I love it. And making models out of matchsticks. So, while Walter and Matilda went off to share a lifetime of hobbies, Gran gave Dennis and Nasha a lift back to the beanstalk. <laughs> you really helped us out. Did nothing of it, Dennis. <laughs> Give my love to your mum and dad. <laughs> okay. <gasps> that reminds me. I forgot about the can owner. <laughs> the magic lamp? Well, it's worth one more try, I suppose. Hello, hello, hello. I am... Yeah, the... yeah. Look, here's an easy one. Definitely not against the law. All I want is a can opener. Hmm, a can opener, eh? Well, they haven't been invented yet, but I'll uh, see what I can do. There you go. And look after it. I had to time travel all the way to the 20th century to get that. Genie, you're a genius. And so, Dennis and Nasha went back to their house, where the whole family feasted on beans. <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after. Oh, guess my story was too exciting for him. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, well. Thanks to Sergeant Slipper of the Lamp, I haven't used two of my wishes. for school again. It'll be at nine o'clock high. Ten past nine, actually. And you're late. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoops! Sorry, but we're late for school. Help me up, you naughty boy. Hmm. Oh, you're heavy. I'm not surprised with you on top of me, you daft lad. Now clear off. Yeah, why don't dogs have to go to school? <laughs> Mr. Dust is late today. <laughs> Sit down, please, everyone. <clears throat> Sit down, please. Quiet! Thank you, Headmaster. This is your class, Miss Funny Bunny. What happened to Mr. Dust? Galloping flu. Miss Funny Bunny is taking over for today. Yay! <laughs> Great! Supply teachers are always fun. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Headmaster. I feel sure we're going to get along just fine, aren't we, class? Yes, Miss Funny Bunny. Well, that's good to hear. Now then. First, I'd better get to know you all. Matilda? Here, Miss! Curly? Here, Miss! Pie Face? Here, Miss! Is that your real name? Well, uh, my real name is, uh, Kevin. But, uh, <laughs> that's daft, because, uh, I don't eat Kevins. I eat pies. Hmm. Dennis? Let's <laughs> test her metal. Ready, Sydney? <laughs> Yes, I'm here, but so is a big killer spider! Your homework for tonight is an essay entitled, What My Dad Does. I expect it on my desk first thing tomorrow. Yes, Miss Funny Money. Not if I can help it. Hmm. It'll take us all evening to write that essay. Good. What's going to happen to your homework, Dennis? Yeah. Is Nasha going to eat it? Is it going to be run over by a bus? I, uh, I think mine's going to be eaten by, uh... Uh, me. Hmm. What my dad does. You know, apart from chasing me, I have no idea what he does. Dad? Dad, what do you do? I'm reading the paper, Dennis. <laughs> Shoot! Bless you, dear. No, Dad. I mean, what do you do? What's your job? Oh, well, well. It's good to see you taking an interest, Dennis. Your father, Dennis, has a very important job. I work in an office, Dennis, making offices for people who work in offices. 
and I have just been promoted to the paperclip and rubber band division. Oh, thanks, Dad. Just wondered. Dad! Dennis! Breakfast! <laughs> Whatever's the matter? I feel awful. I think it's the galloping flu. There's a lot of it about, you know. Well, you're to go straight back to bed. I can't. It's rubber band day at the office. Well, the band will just have to play without you. Oh, but the boss! Oh, don't worry about the boss. I'll send Dennis over with a note. Dear Dennis's dad's boss, Dad is very poorly and will not be able to come to work today. Love from Mum. Kiss, kiss, kiss. There. Now take that to Dad's boss. And no monkey business on the way. Come on, Nesha. <laughs> Excuse me. Look what you made me do. Rubber bands. This is the place. Huh. I never mentioned this place in my essay. Cool. Cool? Did you say cool? I'd never have guessed. Where's the boss? I've got a note for him. Uh, upstairs in meeting room seven. He's expecting you. He is? Oh, I expect Mum must have phoned. Mr. Cool's here, sir. And you should see his disguise. It's brilliant. Thank you, Miss Rake. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. Dirk Cool, the greatest secret agent our country has ever known. And according to Miss Rake, he has adopted a particularly brilliant disguise. Enter. Brilliant. Quite brilliant. Who would have thought you could disguise yourself not only as a small boy, but as a small dog at the same time? And just the right sort of disguise for this mission, too, Dirk. You can read your instructions on the way. If anyone can succeed in this mission, it's Dirk Cool. Hello, everyone. What the? Who the devil are you, madam? It is I, Dirk Cool, secret agent and master of disguise. By Jove! Brilliant disguise! Brilliant! <laughs> Hang on a moment. If you're Dirk Cool, then who have we just sent off on your mission? What's going on, Nasha? Yeah. Maybe those are the instructions that the man was talking about. You've been sent to me to baddie. Your picture's in your pack. Every agent's fell so far. So, we won't expect you back. This must be the baddie. Villamina Slot Bucket? Who'd have thought that boring old dad had such an exciting job? Chasing baddies with silly names. Five years. Five years I've been working undercover as a teacher, and just as I was ready to pounce. Yes, we got your message that you were ready to pounce. But I didn't pounce, did I? Uh, no. No, you sent some ten-year-old and his dog right into the secret mission headquarters of Villamida Slop Bucket from Gunged. The global undercover network of ghastly evil dinner ladies. Um, uh, yes. Hmm, she'll have him for dinner. It might be just a massive pan on top of a volcano, but to me, it's home! 
Aha, the boys are back. Well, you boys took your time. Did you place the satellite in orbit, treacle face? We did indeed, Miss Slopbucket. And, uh, my name is Ian, not treacle face. When I rule the world, I'll call you worse than that, treacle face. Isn't that right, Muffin Man? Yes, Miss Slopbucket. You don't get to rule the world with henchmen called Ian, you know. You could have backed me up on the name thing, Malcolm. Sorry, Ian. Right. Now to see if my satellite is truly in place. Ah, my very old donut dumpling satellite gun. The work of art. I know. I baked it myself. Soon I shall be the first dinner lady to rule the world. A Secret Service travel pod is approaching, Miss Slopbucket. I'd recognize that pod anywhere. Dirk Cool, secret agent and master of disguise. I think we're going down, Nasha! Landing. Nice. Huh? Are your icing guns on rock hard setting? Yes, Philomena yes, Slot Bucket. We meet at last, Dirk Cool. Hey? Oh, that must be Dad's code name, Nasha. You're the baddie, aren't you? Yes. And here's an evil laugh to prove it. <laughs> What happened to all the school dinners that aren't eaten? Oh, 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 yes. I've kept all the scraps. Kept them all. And when I rule the world, they will be eaten. Take them to the control room. This is serious, Nasha. Recognize him? <gasps> it's the President of the United States. <laughs> Watch this. Operation 10 has begun! Fellow Americans, I am here today in order to... In order to turn into a ten-year-old! Yahoo! Everyone take the day off! <laughs> As Prime Minister of Great Britain, I... I live at number 10, and now I am 10! Ha-ha! I can do what I want! I'm in charge! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> no, I'm in charge! All the world leaders will soon be 10, and then they'll do as I say. 120 world leaders to go. And you two can be the first to swallow my lovely leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, more sugar. Revenge is supposed to be sweet, isn't that right, boys? No one makes me eat leftovers. These aren't just any leftovers. This pot contains 20 years' worth of leftover food from the first day I started cooking for school children. Well, no one ate it first time round, and there's no way I'll eat it now. <laughs> and now that all the leaders of the world are 10, I'll see that they eat every scrap. The world leaders are about to make your announcement, Miss Slopbucket. Eat up, boys. Turn on the monitor. Hello, everyone. I'm President, and Miss Wilhelmina Slopbucket has said we must all eat her school dinners, or else... Eat school dinners? How dare they? And uh, if you don't eat her old school dinners, then you get turned into a ten-year-old like me. I'm 
not standing for this. I've been on rations before. Haven't had school dinner since I was... So high! Come on, Nasha. Use those teeth. Come on, Nasha. We've got to stop her. Quick! Inside! Oh, where's reverse? Oh, there it was! Who's that? It's heading for the satellite. Then stop it! Wow! It's made of dirt! <laughs> agent stuff. I wonder Dad didn't want to take the day off work today. Hold it right there. Give it to him, boys. A double helping. <laughs> On my back, Nasha. <laughs> oh, give me that gun. Anything you can do, I can bake better. <laughs> Spaghetti! Just you and me now, kid. No one beats me at a food fight! Wanna bet? <laughs> to scrape you off my plate once and for all. Sydney! Sydney! You have to help us! travel pod and save the world? Yep. Well, except that all the world leaders are ten-year-olds, but that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> ah, that is where you are wrong. Wilhelmina Slopbucket is a terrible cook. Her mixture wears off after, uh, ten minutes. Oh, get me out of this muck! This isn't meant for me! What do you think, Malcolm? Let's go home, Ian. I've had it for being muffin, man. Oh, hello, dear. 
I was beginning to wonder where you were. Did you deliver your dad's sick note? I certainly did. That's quite an office he works in. Oh, yes, dear. Hello, Dad! Oh. oh your job's not as boring as you made out, is it? Mm -hmm. But don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? My dad. When I grow up, I'm going to do the same job as you. Oh, I must be sicker than I thought. Oh. What have you done? an ordinary house in Beano Town, but your research shows it's sitting on the richest oil deposit in the country. We're gonna buy the place up and make me a fortune. The house belongs to a family unit, sir. Just a bunch of little people. There'll be no match for the slickest oil company in the business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope the green and friendly pressure group don't beat us this time, eh, sir? Huh? Uh, uh, they won't. They won't. Uh, I said they won't. The green and friendly pressure group can do nothing. There are no cabbage-friendly snails to save this time. Just a little house and little people. Do you know what we're going to do with them? Uh, no. Throw them in the trash! Dennis! You need a bath! You haven't had one for ages. But, Mum, I'm holding a garage sale of all my old stuff. Pie Face is waiting outside. Well, you'd better have a bath pronto, then. <laughs> It'll do you good. If water does you good, then why do people carry umbrellas? Ah! There's a spider in the bath! We'll save your mum! Quick, Nasha! <coughs> Never underestimate your mum. Please! Oh, mum! There's a good boy. I've always wanted to live in this area, and your house is so beautifully positioned. Yes, well, we like it. And so quiet, too. Oh, no, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's our son having a bath. He's very keen on cleanliness. Yes. <laughs> Yuck! You call that coffee? Quick, Nasha, save your fleas! <laughs> oh, yuck! What dirty water! That's the last time I bath with you. Uh, so, how much do you want for it? Um, for what? For the house, of course! Oh, I see. But I'm afraid it's not for sale. Want a bargain, eh? I like that in a man. 
I'll offer you five times its value divided by ten, and that's my sneakiest offer. Or are you just a lodger? I paid for this house fair and square, and here's the deed of ownership to prove it. Oh, yeah? Uh, um, oh, 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 uh, well. <laughs> well, sorry to have troubled you. Good day. So much for the direct approach. What a strange old lady. She wanted to buy our house. Well, I hope you told her it's not for sale. It's our home. Of course I did, Mum. And I have a certificate to prove it, which I'll hang on one of our many walls. Now, at last we can join Pipe Base for our toy sale. Two baths in one day? Without this certificate, Dennis, you'd have no house to bath in. Think yourself lucky. There. That should dry it out. Shall I return your wife's wig and coat to the wardrobe, sir? Why bother? She's got hundreds of each, and they're all the same. Time to get sneaky. I love it when they're stupid. Give me your glasses. <laughs> what kept you, Dan? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> Keep an eye on the stall, Pie Face. I'll be down in a minute with some more stuff. OK, Dan. You can trust me. Hello, little boy. Huh? Hello, big person. Impressive display. And so wet. Yeah, <laughs> that was Dennis's idea. Do you have any old certificates propped up to dry by a window? Like that one? Uh... Wow! It's your lucky day! We've got one left. <laughs> right. This is the last lot. Let's hope Pipeface has managed to sell something. Nice. Mission completed. Activate Operation Oil Strike. Done any business, Pie Face? Not often. I swapped a bit of old paper for this. An old lady's wig? What bit of old paper? Uh, it was stuck on the windowsill over there. <gasps> You've sold our house for an old lady's wig? Oh, come on, Den. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I got a coat and gloves as well. Oh. oh! It's all right. He said his wife had hundreds of them. What's going on? Oh! oh. I just bought myself an oil field. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's all legal. Big laugh, guys! <laughs> How did he buy my certificate? How did we lose our house? Uh, how we lost the house isn't important, Dad. <laughs> what is important is how we get it back. Oh, don't worry, Dad. Behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> emergency bedroom, now ready for emergency people. Follow me. Oh, that's us. Find the trip wires! <laughs> no harm done. Just a smoke canister. Stops burglars making a mess of the place, don't you know? Follow me! What? 
Follow my voice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One spare bedroom. Indoor tents? And here's a recent photocopy of a log fire. Oh, it's still warm. Need anything else? Just make an owl call. Tents? To wit, to woo. Thanks for everything. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's moving all his henchmen into our house. Thank you, sir. You leave the yes man under the window. How's that? That's fine. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How good is the oil? Mm, can't tell yet, sir. It's too thick to get under the microscope. That's great. The thicker, the better. Ha! Well, at least we have a roof over our heads. Yeah, we're under attack. It's coming from over here! What's going on? My favorite CD! Military explosions! All-time greatest hits and misses! So soothing! <laughs> Sleep well! Boom! Bam! Bam! Wait for it. Nasha, but tomorrow we're going home. <laughs> Hold still, Nasha. This disguise cost us our house. Let's see if it helps us get our own back on Katzenberger oil. <sighs> Morning. Go away. How dare you! I am Mr. Clint Katzenberger's wife. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, madam. Um, I'd better go away. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I am... <laughs> Mrs. Katzenberger, what an honor. Hey, How did you know? Oh, I'd recognize that fine coat and wig anywhere. Oh, uh, did I say wig? Oh, oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Look, I don't have much time. But you look so healthy. What I want to know is, what could possibly go wrong with my husband's plan? Oh, no, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. The Green and Friendly Pressure Group know nothing. No endangered wildlife can close down this site. Endangered wildlife, eh? No, not this time. We can dig all we want. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Honey, you've come visit. Turn around, darling, and give your hubby a big, smoochy, wet kiss. Uh, uh. Don't keep me waiting now. <laughs> wow, that was Give me back that certificate. Try, 
kid, but I win again. Really big laugh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Your own home as well, then. Huh? <laughs> Until I sold it. <coughs> Sorry, then. What do we do now? The Green and Friendly Pressure Group. Who? Oh? They are the only people who have ever stopped Katzenberger. You told them about the Green and Friendly Pressure Group? Well done. Can it? This is one oil strike that they are powerless to stop. There are no endangered species here except you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Meet our endangered species! Ta -da! But Nasher isn't endangered! Uh, you don't mean me, do you, Dan? G of course not! Show them, Nasher! Just like we practice, lads! Save our home! Save our home! We need a dog and he needs a garden! The rare and soon to be endangered Abyssinian tripound flea! Oh! Nasher and I will get the fleas into our front garden. If things go well, Katzenberger will soon be the endangered one. Good luck, then. We'll meet you at the front of your house. says that I make a mess. Fifty barrels of oil, and it's only Monday. Load up the truck. Right, Mr Katzenberger, sir. Have you found out how good the oil is yet? We're still trying to thin it out. I've never seen anything like it. Time to get our house back. We want something to protect about. We want something... Hello, green and friendly. Have I got a cause for you? We want something to protest about. Crack on with the marker pens. We've got a hot one. Yay! Time to act our age, Nasha. Familiar, like that stupid family's coffee. Uh, who's that? Save the tripod, please, please. Save the tripod. Save the what? Save the Show him, Nasha. Prepare for the protest. Protect the fleas. Protect them with this! Ugh. <laughs> Oil Baron attacks endangered fleas! <sighs> Give it back, lads! At the double! <laughs> fleas attack Oil Baron! Ooh. Yes! Give me three, Nasha! <laughs> Stop! 
Start the truck! Man the defenses! Yes, sir! Has the whole town gone mad? What do I care? I have my oil! I've completed the test, sir! It isn't oil! What? What? There must have been a leak under the house. It's dirty, incredibly dirty, bath water! Whoops! <laughs> dirty bath water? But my executives told me... Come back here! <laughs> oh, and that Katzenberg has saved me a fortune in plumbing bills by cleaning it all out for us. And the green and friendly pressure group shall restore your garden to its former beauty. Oh, thank you. That's... Uh, that's... Uh, very friendly of you. Yes! My certificate. Fetch a hammer and nail, Natcher. We're back where we started. Having a bath could be more trouble than it's worth, eh, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs>